Good morning, ladies, and welcome to Devotions with Dr. Sue as we keep watch at the gate. Today we are still in Psalm 85 and we are extracting some of the things that are being said to God about God and applying them into our marriages. And, and so we've been talking about liquid love. We've been talking about that need for restoration and that fresh start. And today we are going to be looking at verse 7 and it says, Pour out even more love on us. Reveal more of your kindness and restore us back to you. And then the first part of verse 8 says, Now I'll listen carefully for your voice and wait to hear whatever you say. And as I looked at that, you know, the, the messages that came to me in terms of our relationships, as we seek to ask God for the wisdom, how to go about mending and seeing that fresh start. One of the things is the requirement for more love. And I was like, wow. I mean, we just talked about liquid love and we still need more love. That's the thing about love, you know. Love is always, always needed. And sometimes we feel as though our love tanks have been drained dry. But I just want to remind us that if the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts, then there is always a capacity for more love. We may not want to hear that, but it is true. There is always a capacity for the more love because of the love of God that's in us. And that love right now is being manifested, what God is saying to us, through our kindness. Through our kindness. Sometimes we can become so embittered by the negativity that we have received coming at us in our relationships. The things that he has said, the things that he has done, the attitudes that that that, that he has displayed, the, the, the comments that he makes that hurts us and that causes us pain. And, and so in retort and in, and in reaction, we become unkind. We say things that are not pleasant. We may we to make remarks that can be cutting. And God is saying to us that restoration does not come through meanness. <laughs> restoration comes through more kindness. So we have to pour in that additional level of kindness in order to see the restoration that we want to see. And kindness, he says, is demonstrated through two little things I see popping out here. One is listening carefully. Oh man, there is, there is something really special when somebody feels that you are hearing them. There's something special when somebody feels that you are listening to what they have to say. And so Holy Spirit is saying to us as a means of a demonstration of our kindness, let's go back to the point where we closed off our ears and we shut them down and we said we're not listening anymore. And he's asking us to go back to that point, to revisit it and begin to listen carefully to what they're saying. When we listen carefully to what people are saying, we can hear their hearts, we can hear their intentions, we can hear their pain, we can hear what they are really thinking if we listen carefully to their hearts. And not only when we listen carefully, but when we do something that's so important, when we wait to hear. <laughs> and you would say, well, that's the same thing. Listening carefully and waiting to hear is the same thing. No, there's a very slight difference. We can listen carefully, but sometimes we don't wait to hear. In other words, we jump to our conclusion before the person has finish saying what they're saying. So we start out by listening carefully, but then we jump to a conclusion. God is saying, no, let us learn to wait to hear. Let us learn as we are listening carefully to extend that period of time where we slow down our minds and we allow the person to continue to say what they have to say. And God says that is an act of kindness that will bring about restoration in our relationships. So let's talk to God about that this morning. Father God, we thank you for these instructions that you're giving us from your word. We thank you, God, that you have given us the capacity capacity in the middle of a challenging relationship to extend more love and more love demonstrated in our kindness towards them. We pray, oh God, that you will help us to 
forgive and go back to the points where we closed off our hearings and that we will open up our ears that we may hear the heart we may hear behind the words what they are saying to us so that we may be able to respond with the kind of spirit that will bring about restoration in our relationships. Help us to wait. Help us to wait to hear so that we might see your glory manifested in our lives. So God, we thank you and we bless you for the restoration that's coming to us. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Have a great day, ladies. Remember, more kindness. Listen carefully and wait to hear. God bless you.